And with me now is tech reporter Rick Carr. Rick, welcome. Great to be now, here. Rick, this amazing explosion of the tech economy really is happening here. Yeah. Why? Um, a lot of the new technology that's being developed has come to New York f for two big reasons. One is that a lot of these technologies deal with media. They deal with video, they deal with film, they deal with music. The headquarters of those industries are here. They want to be close to the people who run those industries in order to make deals with them, show the technologies to them. The other big answer is Madison Avenue. A lot of new technology that's being developed in the city is advertising driven. They want to be close to the advertising agencies that make decisions about how their clients are spending money. They want to tie the technology into marketing, so it makes a lot of sense. The third big reason, though, is the reason why so many of us are here in New York. People just love to live in this city. I mean, the guys at Google who are here, some of whom have come from Silicon Valley, said, I didn't want to live in a suburban tract house. I wanted to live in a brownstone. I wanted to be able to walk to work. I wanted to have a city that was awake and alive when I got out of the office. I get all that, but why are they willing to incur the high cost of living and the high cost of doing business here? You know, it's not that much more expensive than Silicon Valley. Uh, you look at San Francisco right now, rents in San Francisco are arguably worse than they are in Manhattan. Really? And across the whole peninsula in the Bay Area, it's incredibly expensive out there. So it's, it's not that big a deal for them. So, you know, you know this industry inside out. What is the coolest thing you've seen in the course of your reporting? I would have to say that it's the, the kind of the crazy New York individuals, the crazy originals in this city who are doing technology on their own, building stuff like there's a guy in Brooklyn who I met who's building a one-eighth scale model of a 70s vintage supercomputer that he could put on a table. There's another guy who we met down at SVA who built uh, an imaginary marching band. Basically, you've heard of air guitar. He built an air trumpet that you can actually play using technology. It's just the kind of thing that makes this city great is people who are just saying, I want to learn how to do this, I'm going to do it, and they build it, and it's, it's incredible stuff. Oh, Rick, thanks so much. It's my pleasure.